What's up, y'all? This BJ, the Chicago Kid, and the verse I'm breaking down pretty much is um, change gonna come. The first lyrics are, um, sometimes I feel like I'm old, dirty bastard, but inside I'm like a rich boy. Just to break that down, I feel like um, at that time, ODB had just passed away. And um, Rich Boy was like, um, he was, you know, he was still in in, in the mouths of, of, of the people in the, in, in the community and in the, the music industry. So um, I, I was just explaining sometimes I feel like I, I was fucked up. I felt like I was dead some days and some days I felt like I was the most poppinest nigga there was. Um, it was just to let you know that the, the huge hard left and rights of the game that, you know, it could take you to the extremes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm old dirty bastard, but inside I'm like a rich boy. Nowadays I can't help but make a classic. Too many niggas trying to make noise. I mean, it was so many people trying to sing at the time around me that I felt like um, the more people that popped up around me that was singing, I felt like it was more people. It was more people for other people to put in the same sentence as me when I didn't even they when they could they couldn't hand the, hold a candlestick to me. You know what I'm saying lyrically or just talent wise. As I felt, I was more on my rap shit at that time. Um, I was writing R&B songs like rap records, like um, just get my bars off, if I could say. So uh, um, nowadays, I can't help make a classic. Too many niggas trying to make noise, but the real truth of the whole matter is, I still thank God for my place. So I was still humble in the means of thinking that same way. So some days I felt like I was rich, some days I felt like I was broken dead, but I still felt like I had value. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but the real truth, the whole matter is, I still thank God for my place, cause it's somebody somewhere worse than me, and somebody trying to take my place. So that means it's somebody out there that was more fucked up than me. And on top of that, either that person or somebody else could be so fucked up to the point where they gonna work twice as hard as me just to get what I got when I'm trying to get more. So it's like in the midst of all these thoughts, you still gotta work. You still gotta keep going. You still gotta keep 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 something happening. Um, that's how I know. Oh, 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 oh. This music is a savior. It shot a lot of morphine in a lot of these niggas' behavior. Man, that was a crazy line. Um, I took the Sam Cook line. That's how I know. Oh, 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 oh. This music is a savior. It shot a lot of low. It shot a lot of morphine in a lot of these niggas' behavior. A lot of niggas I hang with, they weren't always like the cleanest cats to hang with. You know what I'm saying? Um, so falling in love with music and um, seeing the results of other people that's done this before us and they actually got a, a mansion and beautiful cars and a family and just a stable life from literally just doing music like no side hustle, no selling weed on the side, no selling cane on the side and it's like straight music. That was like a way of music to shoot morphine and a lot of these niggas behaviors to the point where they straighten up and fly right and just want to learn something um, for the first time since their first days of learning in grade school. Like some guys on the street, man, they ain't learned since shit since elementary school, man. Like once they learn the uh, that 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 three point five is an eight and all this shit, yeah, that's all it. They it stopped there. The rest was just all counting dollars. So it's like um, music actually for some people it triggered another um, another way of learning, uh, something else to actually yearn for as far as knowledge for for a street cat. And I think that's huge. Um, a lot of times as, as individuals, man, we could just cut everything off and not want to learn nothing else. We are who we are. And I think music could change a lot. Music is like weed, man. It brings people together all the time, different races, different shapes, forms, sizes, language, and all that. You know what I mean? So, um, well, they took them off the block, but some still on the block. But homie, there's a clock and time is wasting. Thirsty niggas is tasting while you're climbing a hill, only kicking with the real. So, um... Man, it, it say, okay, since it shot a lot of morphine in a lot of these niggas' behavior, it took them off the block. But some still on the block. Meaning they doing music and still on the block at the same time. But it say, but time is wasting, thirsty niggas is tasting. So when thirsty niggas is tasting, I mean, they, that's those are the guys that come around you, but they tell the guys, yeah, he be, at, he be over here or he eat breakfast here a certain time every day. So that's how you go jack the nigga. It's, 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 it's kind of hood slang, but it's reality of the life I live and the reality of the life of the street life is and just where I was at that time. So the last two the last two lines of it is really where I thought that was the illest. It said, why you climbing the hill, only kick it with the real. So from feeling like 
old dirty bastard and sometimes feeling like you rich boy regardless of that like nigga whenever you feeling like you dead or alive regardless you still gotta grind so in this grind when you climbing up yeah. the grind you only kick it with the realest person you could kick it with so like just like i told my guys today i'm i'm only rocking with people that's only on what i'm on or better like if you can't help better me or push me on what i'm on like we have no dealings there's nothing we can do there's nothing we can talk about um be inspired from my actions there's nothing i can tell you that's gonna trigger you to do something more than you want for your goddamn self you know what I'm saying? I can't make you want it for yourself. Hopefully you see me and you see what we do and you're inspired from that and that's what could happen. But for right now, man, I'm I'm only trying to hang around to inspire to be inspired and stay inspired. Peace. Yo, it's Pop and Kendrick Lamar right here outside the booth. Shout out to J Booth TV. Hey, booth. You watching outside the booth TV.